this British Virgin Islands. 2012 goes to contestant, contestant number, number five, Miss Cherie De Castro. Destiny introduced itself to me on August 5th, 2012. That meeting was the culmination of a challenging journey of disappointments, hard work, spiritual conviction, and reliance on ancestral prowess. We met in an embrace of divine appointment that led to the royal ambassadorial coronation and title Miss British Virgin Islands. I am here at this moment in time because at that meeting, I graciously accepted destiny. Ladies and gentlemen, on that night, a year ago today, I asked the rhetorical question, how much do I make? The answer, I make a difference. It is my hope that as your queen, I have held true to that declaration. My path on this journey was lit by some lights that continue to shine bright. Mom, my constant help, and Dad, my silent strength. You are the twinkling stars. I look up to you. Thank you. To the rest of my family, especially my siblings, who saw the risk but still jumped completely outside of the box with me on this journey coated me with the love that helped to excavate beauty from ashes. At this time, I would like to recognize the force of a guiding light, my angel, who had it not been for her strength and vision, my interest in pageantry would have been just a fleeting thought. Cherie Malvern, your words, to have the strength that won't quit stuck with me. You reside in my heart and I can say with absolute certainty, I have been touched by an angel. To my guiding lights, Damien Grange and Cherise Thomas, I followed your advice and instructions that were the perfect mix of ingredients for the fuel that set me ablaze. On August 5th, 2012, if anyone was to be arrested for arson, for me setting this place on fire, it's you two. I would tell the judge, I just did what you told me to do. You forced me to be the best me. Thank you. And as you know, fuel is certainly not cheap. So thank you to the many people who pumped money into this journey. A special lamp to my pathway was my Elmo Stout High School family, especially Mrs. Alicia Todman and the English department. Mr. Tobin, you're a rock star. Thank you for being so accommodating and my little stars, my students, you know, in my eyes, you are all superstars. Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, our illustrious sisterhood, here's to 100 years. Our bond is pure girl power. At this point, I don't mean to be shallow. However, an important part of being a beauty queen is image. Glamour came at a price. But credit to my hair sponsor, a cut above hair and beauty salon, especially Elizabeth Hogan, and my makeup artist extraordinaire, Gilda Richardson and Cassandra Malone. You guys are the best. And the home of fashion in the BVI, Umi Fashions, because of you, I was able to put my best heels forward at all times. I must express my gratitude to the BVI Taurus Board for their support. 
Our time in Berlin at the ITB Travel Trade Show was an experience I'll never forget. Mrs. Flaxmars, you are simply the best. Mardo Maduro, your amazing videography makes me shine even brighter tonight. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the source of it all, my everything, the author of my life, King Jesus. To him, I say, hallelujah. So tonight, as I close this chapter of my life, I look forward to passing the torch to the next deserving young lady who will continue to represent us like a true lighthouse. Ramona, Brianna, Michaela, and Rosanna, tonight you gave it your all. And I believe whatever the outcome, the crown is in good hands. Good luck, girls. My candle will continue to burn on the Miss Universe stage in Russia, where I will get another opportunity to represent my people and country. I admonish you, BVI, to let your light shine. Take your candle and go light the world.